Should I leave my variable rate mortgage or should I turn it into a fixed rate mortgage? We're gonna answer this right now. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Vancouver. If you wanna learn ways to be approved for mortgage, home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. Everyone is talking about rates going up these days and variable rate is great when the Bank of Canada is keeping rates low, but now people are scared because it's finally time when rates are rising. People are panicking and wondering, hmm, should I turn my variable rate mortgage and convert it into a fixed rate? Let's go over your options. If you have a variable rate mortgage, chances are your current rate is probably around 1.5%. Some of you may be less, some of you may be higher. Regardless, we'll just use 1.5% as an average. So what are fixed rates at right now? We're looking at around 3%. You'll notice that the spread is quite high. Now 3% minus 1.5%, that's a 1.5% difference. But why is that? It's because variable rate and fixed rates are determined differently. Variable rate is determined by the Bank of Canada Fixed rates are determined by the bond market. Usually the spread between variable and fixed rates are usually about you know, 0.25% difference. But how come the spread is now 1.5%? It's because the Bank of Canada has been artificially keeping the variable rate low and not adjusting it according to the market. Fixed rates on the other hand have gone up. You'll notice that the stock market is back to pre-COVID if not even higher, so that bond market needs to increase its rates higher to attract investors back to investing in bonds. Hence, fixed rates are going up. Now back to the original question, should you leave your variable rate mortgage or should you turn it into a fixed rate mortgage? My advice is to leave it. It comes down to math. Why pay more when you don't have to? Well, it's because rates are rising. I'm scared. Okay, well, let's calculate how much more you need to pay. On a $500,000 mortgage, if your rate is at 1.5%, your mortgage payment is about $2,000. Now, if we convert it into a fixed rate mortgage at 3%, your new mortgage payment will be now $2,370. That is a $370 difference per month. If we convert that to per year, that's $4,440. That's the price you are paying more for a peace of mind. Is it really worth it? No, to me, it's not. That's a huge jump. So what am I advising clients to do? Save that money and put it directly into the mortgage instead. Let the Bank of Canada increase its rates. Every time they increase, it's usually by 0.25%. That means if your rate increases by 1.5%, which is the, the spread between fixed and variable rate, that means the Bank of Canada needs to increase by six times. That normally takes about two to three years. So we can't control how much or how fast rates increase, but what we can do is control your mortgage balance. If you're concerned about rates increasing, pay more into your mortgage in anticipation of a higher rate. When your rate is higher, that's okay, but it's being charged on a lower mortgage balance at that time. So essentially, you're just trying to offset the interest rate increase. Banks allow you to pay your mortgage down faster, either by increasing your monthly payments or by a lump sum payment without penalty up to a certain limit. An analogy that I love to use is filling up your car with gas. For those with electric cars, sorry, you probably can't relate to this anymore. Say there is a gas station selling gas at $1.50 per liter. Now across the street, there is another gas station, but it's selling it at $3 per liter. Which one would you choose? You'll for sure go for the $1.50 per liter because it's cheaper. And if you choose the $3 per liter, 
but people there will be like scratching their head and be like, what? You want to pay more? Okay, sure. And then not only that, you're asking if there's a penalty or extra service charge to buy expensive gas. Of course not. They'll love to take your money because they're charging you a huge premium. Very similar to a mortgage. Save now. Keep the cheaper money. And if you really want to convert to a fixed rate, there are no penalties. Banks will love it because you're walking in and begging to pay more. And there you go. We just went over whether you should leave your variable rate mortgage or turn it into a fixed rate mortgage. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more. And make sure you click on the notification bell so you won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Rise Mortgage. We're always achieving your approval.